In this video, I'm using the brand new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette to create this soft glam eye look with a bold red lip. So first thing I'm doing is priming my face with the Eve Pearl Primer. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the 13 Rushes Flat Top Foundation brush to blend that in. And I'm just doing one thin layer and then building up the coverage where I need it most. Now I'm taking the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer and correcting my dark under eye circles. And to conceal my under eyes, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'll just buff that out with the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and the Zoeva 105 Highlight Brush. To conceal, I'll use the Clarins Instant Concealer to dot that over my blemishes. And then I'll blend that concealer out with the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. With the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus, I'm setting my foundation and concealer. Now with the 13 Rushes Powder Brush and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark, I'm bronzing my skin. Okay, on to eyebrows. I'm using the Sigma Brow Powder Duo in Medium and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Number no. 12 brush. Okay, now on to the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I'm first taking the shade Anaheim on the Smith 232 brush and blending that into my crease just to create a bit of definition. And running that on my lower lash line as well. Now with the shade Zone, I'm going in the crease as well, just darkening up a little bit to add more definition. Now 
Now with the shade Skimp on the Smith 253 brush, I'm putting that shade all over the mobile part of my lid. And then taking the shade Blonde to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm putting the shade Steady on the outer third of the mobile part of my lid. Then taking my blending brush to give one last blend. Now I'm using the shade Punk on the Sigma E65 angled liner brush and I'm going to use that shade as an eyeliner. So I'm just smudging it into the lash line on the top and bottom and then I'll wing it out a little bit. And then I go in with my blending brush and give a blend and then go back in with that dark shade and darken up the liner a little bit. So add some liner and then blend, and then add more liner and blend again. Now I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara to coat my lashes on the top and bottom. And if you want to use some false lashes, that would look really nice with this look. Um, I decided just to go with my natural lashes because I was just going out with some friends that night and didn't feel like wearing false lashes, but it would look really nice with this look. I'm using the ColourPop gel liner in the shade Get Paid and I'm lining my waterline with that. To contour, I'm using the Anastasia and Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the shade Fawn with the Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer Brush. And I just lay down some color and then blend it out and I'm contouring under my cheekbones, on my temples, my forehead, and then under my jawline as well. And then blending that all out with the 13 Rushes powder brush again. Now onto blush, I'm using the Morph 9B palette and this middle shade and the corner shade there and I'm blending them together and applying that with the Sigma F50 brush. And to highlight, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator and their number A23 brush. I'm just hitting the top of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then, of course, the top of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes with that same illuminator again, just to brighten them up a bit. 
Now for lips, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Candy Apple. And I'm just applying that with the doe foot applicator first just to get the color down. And then after, I'm going to perfect the lines with the Smith 302 lip brush. And now I'm going over with one more coat of lipstick. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And here is a before and after. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.